spooky. Hello there, and welcome back to the Community Roundup. I'm your host, Samuel Kyber, here to talk about what's going on in the Black Plasma community for the month of September. Just a quick reminder about the upcoming Command Block Minecraft Animation Collab. There's still about three weeks or so left to send in your entries. Again, please make sure it's no longer than 10 seconds and name the file as the name you'd like to be credited as. You can check all the details in the announcement video. I'll link it below and on screen. Now it's time for the Lush Cave Render Challenge results. Uh, there weren't as many entries this time, but we still have some great ones to share with you. Ninjamations look cool with the use of depth of field, pretty lighting. Quint1220 had an overall very pleasing render with nice looking vegetation. ETW0 had a cool standoff with the new Warden mob. Internet Metro used a dramatic focal length with lens distortion to create an epic vibe. And Ironmans had a good sense of danger with Derp looking scared and the Iron Golem attacking the animators in the background. But the winner for this challenge goes to Ardamin B. This was probably the most luscious, l lush full, l l lushy render with lots of foliage elements, both above and underwater. There's a lot of vibrant colours as well, which made the scene look very pretty. I'll have a link to all the entries in the description. So congrats to Ardamin B for winning this month's render challenge. The theme they've chosen for next month is Mushroom. So create a render involving mushrooms of some kind. They could be like giant mushrooms or little mushrooms or mushroom soup or there's quite a few ideas to go with that one. Please make sure the render is a minimum of 1280 by 720 resolution and send it to Black Plasma Studio. No, that's not right. And send it to blackplasma.mail at gmail.com with the words mushroom render challenge somewhere in the email subject. And again, please name the file as the name that you'd like to be credited as. We still do get some entries that aren't named correctly, and it's hard to know how to refer to you if we include you in the video. So please just drop your name on the file so it's easy for us to, to tell. As always, details will be in the description of this video. Now for the community creations, where we feature some of our favourite things that the community has made and shared on our creations wall and the fan art wall in our Discord server. First up is Turtle Helmet, a Minecraft animation by Eanimation, about a cute little turtle. It's quite charming and you should check it out. Ethan Animates released a fantasy themed Minecraft animation with a mix of music video and cinematic storytelling. It's very epic stuff. Classy Plant Studios created their first Minecraft animation about a sheep. Vortex Animation posted a snowstorm render time lapse. It was very cool to see their process in Blender. Bielder shared another speed build for a huge dragon in Minecraft. Redstone Generations released episode 3 of their Dumb Ways to Die series, this time for a pufferfish. Fadeless Banjo shared a teaser for an upcoming Bounty Hunter animation, which sounds like a cool concept. Bisect Hosting shared a music video parody called Cave, which looks really well animated. Satori also released a music video parody of their own called Arcade Madness. Chico Animations posted one about a dirt tower, which had a really pleasing art style. And Tisteria released a trailer for what looks to be an incredible animation. Definitely check that one out. The creations wall and fan art wall are just full of really, really cool stuff. Thank you everyone for sharing all of your cool creations. I'll just leave a few on screen right now for you to enjoy. For our Discord events, we're uploading the most recent recording over the next few days, and the mods are planning on doing some spooky events, so be sure to join our Discord and take part when we host them. Next up are the new patrons that pledged during the month of September. A big thanks to Kaput Gosling 902 Cyridian Mendoris, Awkward Bunyan 33 Panda CJW, and Tankbreaker1. Thanks for pledging everyone, and thanks to those who continue to pledge. If you'd like to join the Patreon, you can do so via the link in the description to see videos early, or have your skin featured, or put your name in the credits to the animations, etc etc. Next we have the Q&A. Thanks to everyone who left questions in the previous community roundup, 
I'll be going through some of them now. First up from Mohammed, where does Black Plasma Studios take the sound effects? Thank you. Um, we get most of our sounds from Epidemic Sound. Um, we do have like a collection of old sounds that we gathered over the years, but primarily Epidemic. Um, and then we've had some custom sounds done for some of the other projects from After Infinity. Next from K Pixels, question: Is there an animation you've wanted to make but never even bothered to finish? And will any of your other animations be voice acted? Thanks for these, they make me very happy. Oh, that's, that's really good to hear. Uh, for your first question, I don't think there are any animations I've personally wanted to make, but like never finished. I remember not enjoying working on like an old one called TNT Tag, so I cut it way shorter than it was originally going to be, and I just kind of released it in its current state. Um, some of the stories from other animators haven't been continued yet yeah maybe they will maybe they won't uh like the dark hero or dep race was setting up a uh, kind of a continued story but you know maybe we'll return to them in the future maybe not um we'll see depends kind of what people want to do and in terms of voice acting yeah i've been plodding through a voice acted animation called starfall for the past nine months or so um, but it's on a temporary hold at the moment because it is taking a while and i would like to release an animation soon so it's it's on hold I'll do something else um, by the end of this year and I'm hoping for that one which does have voice acting to release kind of maybe springtime summertime next year I'm hoping all things considered and from Lil Joe Studios here's a question Entity was arrested and not killed in Animation Lab 3 so is there a possibility he could come for Alex and Steve with a vengeance no comment. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for all the questions. If you do want to ask some questions for anyone, uh, ask any of the animators or myself, then just leave them in the comments of the video and I'll be sure to get around to them in the next roundup. Uh, let me know if you have any suggestions for the community roundups because we haven't really changed much in the format. We added the new Patreon section, but beyond that we haven't really had too many ideas and we haven't really evolved it much, so if anyone has any thoughts, let me know, leave a comment, or just tag me on Discord, that's all fine. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next Community Roundup. Ooh. Ooh. Oh god, now I'm stuck.